Renowned American physicist Michio Kaku made a profound statement about the James Webb Space Telescope's capabilities a year ago. Well, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. Since its launch over two years ago, the telescope has ushered astronomers into a golden era of discovery, pushing the boundaries of our cosmic understanding. However, these findings have also raised a host of perplexing questions for cosmologists. Recently, Webb has once again peered into the universe's infancy, observing the first 500 million years following the Big Bang. To the surprise of scientists, it captured images of galaxies that are anything but young or primitive. Instead, these galaxies appear unexpectedly massive and mature for such an early epoch. One particular galaxy, possibly one of the oldest ever detected, has left astronomers astounded. The James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang that are up to 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. That shouldn't happen. We may have to revise our theory of the creation of the universe. What's shocking is that this ancient galaxy already hosts billions of stars. Intriguingly, this same galaxy was spotted by the Hubble Space Telescope just two years ago as an unusual speck of light in its field of view. At the time, scientists could not have imagined that this tiny point of light was actually a colossal galaxy situated at the edge of the observable universe. Only with Webb's advanced instruments were they able to confirm the galaxy's true nature. Named GZ9P3, this galaxy resides at a redshift of 9.3 comma, meaning we observe it as it was merely 510 million years after the Big Bang. While other galaxies have been identified from 300 to 500 million years post Big Bang, none have exhibited such extraordinary mass. To reach this size, the galaxy's stars must have formed much faster and more efficiently than previously thought. Adding to the mystery is GZ9P3's unusual shape, which may hold valuable clues about the nature of the early universe. The discovery team identified two bright regions within the galaxy, revealing the presence of two dense nuclei. This strongly indicates that the galaxy is a result of a merger between two primordial galaxies in the early universe. Moreover, the team was able to determine not only the galaxy's age, mass and shape, but also its stellar population, which predominantly features young, bright stars. Using the Webb telescope, researchers detected specific elements like silicon, carbon and iron in the older stars of GZ9P3. Iron, being the heaviest element that stars can produce, was spread into space during the explosion of these stars, enriching the early universe with metals that eventually contributed to the formation of new stars. Surprisingly, the study found a higher than expected number of older stars in GZ9P3. This finding challenges conventional models by suggesting that galaxies may have reached chemical maturity much faster than anticipated, with stars enriching the universe with metals at a quicker rate. The unexpectedly mature population of stars in GZ 9P3 indicates that star formation occurred much earlier than previously assumed. These discoveries suggest that a new model might be necessary to account for the rapid chemical and physical growth of galaxies in the early universe. The findings also hint at galactic mergers playing a dominant role in shaping the universe shortly after the Big Bang. While the current cosmological framework isn't necessarily wrong, it seems our understanding of the speed of galaxy formation needs revision, as these galaxies are far larger and more mature than expected. This deepens the ongoing crisis in cosmology, which originated from discrepancies in determining the universe's expansion rate. The problem lies in conflicting results 
from two major methods used to calculate the Hubble constant, the rate at which the universe is expanding. One method relies on measurements of the cosmic microwave background, the afterglow of the Big Bang from 380,000 years after the universe's birth. The other method, known as the standard candle approach, uses the brightness of distant supernovae to infer the expansion rate of the universe during their time. These methods yield different values for the Hubble constant, creating a tension known as the Hubble tension. Now, with the Webb telescope uncovering galaxies that defy our current understanding, this crisis has only deepened, prompting cosmologists to rethink key aspects of the universe's history and structure. The latest cosmological challenge, known as the S8 tension, is shaking up our understanding of the universe. This tension revolves around the uneven distribution or clustering of matter in the cosmos, a fundamental question about how much of the universe is filled with matter and how it is distributed. There are two main methods to measure this. The first involves low redshift observations, such as weak gravitational lensing, where the gravitational pull of massive cosmic objects bends and distorts light from distant sources. This provides unique insights into matter distribution. The second method is rooted in the standard cosmological model, using cosmic microwave background data to infer the universe's structure. However, the S8 value derived from these two approaches doesn't match, highlighting a significant gap in our understanding. To investigate, scientists utilize the powerful DORAC Cosma 8 supercomputer at Durham University, dedicating over 50 million hours of computing time across 30,000 processors. This ambitious effort, called the Flamingo Project, aimed to simulate the universe with unprecedented accuracy. Unlike previous simulations focused only on dark matter, Flamingo included normal baryonic matter, though it makes up just one-fifth of all mass in the universe because it significantly influences matter distribution on smaller scales. The Flamingo simulations, despite their groundbreaking advancements in modeling galaxy formation and accounting for factors like supermassive black holes and galactic winds, fell short of solving the S8 tension. In fact, they highlighted even deeper discrepancies. The simulations showed a 5% higher clumpiness of matter than observed, contradicting the very observations they aimed to align with, such as those from the Webb telescope. This divergence raises questions about whether our beloved standard model of cosmology might need a fundamental overhaul. Interestingly, Webb has reinforced the findings of its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, confirming the so-called Hubble tension. This discrepancy revolves around differing measurements of the Hubble constant, the rate of the universe's expansion. While the Hubble and Webb methods both show consistent yet conflicting results, it's clear that these findings can't be reconciled within our current understanding of physics. With measurement errors ruled out, we're left facing an exhilarating possibility. Perhaps our conception of the universe itself is flawed. Could it be time to rethink the role of dark matter or embrace new physics altogether? Theories proposing significant paradigm shifts are gaining momentum, inviting scientists and enthusiasts alike to reconsider the fabric of our cosmos. What are your thoughts on these cosmic conundrums? Could the answers lie in an entirely new model of the universe? Share your ideas below.